You must be the exterminator. I don't have bugs. You're ruining my celebration. Don't go in there. Please leave! Spooky? Scary? Skeletons? Uh, yeah, I think so. Revolution? Overthrow the government? Uh, I think so. Next thing you know, I'm reincarnated as Jesus Christ. Hello everyone, and welcome to the puppies and rainbows side of the internet, where the puppies are mutilated corpses and rainbows are scary rainbows. This is Molly Moon 2. Return of Molly Moon. The movie. The video. And I am your reluctant host, Daniel Profeta. The last time we tackled this account, some crazy stuff went down. The protagonist gets a call from their ex, and Molly just kind of rips her eyeballs out. But in case you need a refresher, Molly Moon is an adult content creator who started dabbling in making weird TikToks reminiscent of old point-and-click horror games that pretty much all have endings where the viewer gets significantly less alive than they were at the beginning. Notice I said adult content creator. Another less exciting thing that happened in my last video was some commenters who decided to air their grievances with adult content creators in general and use that bias to disparage or otherwise put down Moon's other art. Thankfully, most viewers were respectful and normal about it, which in my opinion speaks volumes about the cool and sexy people that watch The Daniel Profeta Show. I actually wasn't aware of her other content when I was making that first video, but I am now. If you don't think that spicy content creators can do other things, or if you view adult entertainers as some lesser class of people, then I would ask you to kindly fuck right off from my channel. Thanks. If it's not to your taste, just move along. The comments I'm specifically talking about reeked of gleeful condemnation, and I'm hoping for less of that this time around. And with that, I'd like to announce my new OnlyFans account. Link down below. This video is going to be fairly similar to my first. We're going to look at some of her videos while commenting on the oddities, explaining the obscenities, and sometimes attempting to invoke hilarity. And I'll have the privilege of showing you cosmic horrors from beyond this galaxy right after we look at these. Hi, interested in some rare items? Wouldn't you be interested in her wares? Wonderful. Um, lady, these are terribly organized. How the hell am I supposed to find anything in this composite of tangled rubbish? As a certified Just Browsing customer, I need lots of things out in the open where I can just look at them and stare awkwardly at you but not actually buy anything. I notice she's wearing a frog necklace. I wonder what that could mean. What does that matter? What does it matter? What if she goes hopping down the lane? Maybe she just likes frogs. Well, you're no fun at all. Ooh. This one's creepy. Objectively. Objectively speaking. This is the least creepy thing in any Molly Moon video. This is just Barbie 2023. What else you got? That's some chicken pot pie. Really? Excuse me. But does your chicken pot pie often have a creepy fucking face in the center? Notice my question is rhetorical. You're now the leader of the pie apocalypse. No refunds. We've been waiting, master. What? 
So we get recruited into this cult-like organization as the leader of the Pi Apocalypse, yet we are attacked by the very minions that we swore to lead into holy war? Insanity. Since my last video on this artist, there have been more and more creative people using a similar template on social media with the pixelated graphics, the retro vibes, the spooky and weird elements, the stop motion, etc, etc. However, what makes Molly Moon's work singularly interesting to me is that she doesn't necessarily box herself into making nostalgia-driven work. There's a difference between a medium and a derivative to me. A derivative is when Marvel can't fathom making a movie without a hundred cheap patronizing cameos to characters from other media, or Disney often making sequel after sequel after sequel to fuel these franchises that are entirely driven by nostalgia corn, where a medium is the material used to create the work. While Molly Moon's videos are utilizing a style that evokes 90s point-and-click horror games, the storytelling itself is unique and weird and often hilarious. It's kind of like my YouTube videos, where my medium is a shitty camera and editing everything myself, and I'm also trying to rip off Drew Gooden and Wendigoon simultaneously, and somehow managing to fail at all of that. It's quite an achievement, really. Are you a meat? enthusiast. Every now and again, you find yourself craving a thick, juicy slice of meat. How about meat in people? People who also share a strange affinity for meat! Well then, I have just the application for you. This site looks like a cam site, and it's kind of fitting that the viewer's profile picture is a pig. You know, because corn consumer, and also meat, and... Oh, it's it's a fucking dick joke. I get it now. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to take a second to overanalyze this really quick, and since my analysis is going to be super personal, I want to clarify that this is not anything that the creator herself has actually said. This is just a thought. As an artist myself, I often process a lot of mental shit through the lens of artistic expression. When I first started making internet content, I didn't know anything. I made a lot of mistakes and uh, I got manipulated and taken advantage of by multiple different people. Um, so when I see this or a video like this and think about it in the context of Molly Moon's other work, it feels personal. The site is obviously a parody of a corn site, the main characters being very weirdly creepy to her, and the video goes on to reveal that when they meet up, the character meets with a grisly fate. It's cathartic and moving, even if it's still very tongue-in-cheek. In fact, going back through her catalog, a lot of her content feels like this. It's empowering against stuff like this. I mean, even just look at the way that his, like, hands are portrayed. It's very, very overtly objectifying. Keep in mind, I'm also a huge fan of a lot of very extreme movies and media, some of which that deal with themes such as getting revenge for SA, or not allowing trauma to control or define you. And as we dig deeper, I'm finding meaning within comedic internet content. And at this point, maybe I'm looking too deeply into it, I have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and watch that grisly demise, though. Do you really love me? That's great, because you're really here to meet my sister. She loves meat, and she's really hungry. <laughs> That's hilarious. They were designing the sound, and they were like, you know what this calls for? This is a classic case of... Excuse me, sir? I don't remember if I really touched on this in my last video, but this is like her catchphrase. Excuse me, sir? I don't know, it just really fleshes out the character and brings to life this grimy, pixelated world that she inhabits. It'd be cool if someday we got a more plot-driven video. Oh, we don't have to wait for that? There already is one? That Daniel Profeta's going to be covering in this very video? And Molly Moon seems to be slowly rolling out a fully-fledged ARG? No way! Who could have seen this coming? Me, 
I saw it coming. And we're about to get some fantastic, delicious lore. In this one, you wake up in an unknown attic and ask Molly where you are. To which she replies, You are home. <laughs> We're being watched. I don't know, guys. This locked attic with bars on the windows and a camera set up to record your every movement seems a bit suspicious. A trifle sus. If I may, even a little bit s Get it? Because sus is chopping the legs off of suspicious and s all by itself is giving it a proper beheading. We see a TV flashing blue frames on the wall. It's a comedy of errors you see about taking a fall. And we find a dusty VHS tape titled Sir 45, which of course lets us viewers know that all of the US presidents have been held hostage here at some point and we are now watching from Biden's perspective. but I wanted to play the tape. We look outside to see our one hope of salvation, this guy. I sometimes go on walks at night, and as a 6'5 individual with scoliosis, I imagine this is how I'm perceived by any individual who dares to peek at the cryptid slowly lurking by. I'm ready for my patient. Molly then jump scares us with an enema of the state cosplay before taking us to our doom. Or happy marriage, I couldn't tell you. This is probably gonna end up being my favorite part of the video. Prepare yourself to embark with me upon a journey through a side of Moon's esoteric catalog that I hadn't even discovered prior to scripting this video. A YouTube channel. This channel seems to be the beginning of something much bigger for Molly, the artist, not the drug, and sees the beginning of an ARG-esque body of work that very well could be the next big show to terrorize a generation. The channel description simply reads, Hi, if you require more substance, keep watching. Almost like a command from a less than human entity. Might as well keep watching, there is no choice. In the YouTube shorts section, you can find most of her newer TikTok content. But then you might see this. Here we get our first glimpse of the simply titled blog tapes that will hopefully be expanded upon as new videos are released. First, I wanna direct your attention to the style that this video was filmed in. Unlike her usual pixelated graphics, we are treated to unsettlingly normal footage shot by the character the episode was named after, the Craigslist cameraman. Unfortunately, at least for me, this video doesn't really explore any new territory for Molly, but rather expands on the concepts explored in her shorter videos. She starts us off with this rather pointed introduction. Hey you, I just got back from my trip. Let me tell you about it. Then she tells us she hired a cameraman off Craigslist who's going to be driving her around and filming her. Again, this is a classic setup of when the entire audience is going to lean back and rightfully say, don't do that. You could die! But she is going to do that, and we're going to sit and wait with bated breath to see if there's any hope at all for a comfortable resolution. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Out of curiosity, comment below if this is your idea of a beautiful day. I want to see if my followers are as cool as I want them to be. Another important element here is how this video has a far more comedic undertone to it. Molly's work always had a strong undercurrent of absurdism and just weird shit going on, but, but come on, man, look at this. It's the best seat in the house. Food review. So make sure you really capture the food and me at the same time, okay? okay. Hey everyone. Oh uh, yes, incredible commentary on the sensationalistic, nonsensical, egotistical, and narcissistic culture of so-called influencers. Hey everyone, we're gonna be doing a food review. <laughs> This is my favorite show now. Get it? 
get it, because cough is a laxative. I okay, how the I'll fuck did we end up here? I think I missed some steps! Next, we get treated to a shot of a locked door where we can hear banging coming from inside. That's what she said. And a canned laugh track starts playing. Before you get too weirded out by this, it's time to rate driveways. I'm gonna give this a solid two. Basically, a whole lot of random filming goes on with slightly odd things in the background, but all in all, it's just another insufferably boring YouTuber vlog video. So that was my trip. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's right. We realized Molly was never in any danger and we shouldn't have doubted her. In fact, it was the cameraman who was locked behind that door and now we can only wonder what lies in wait for him in the future. Namely because the tape ends here. <laughs> At the very end, it says restarting. Wonder what that could mean. It's worth noting that the guy was taken for not respecting boundaries. If only we all had a Molly Moon to come around and fuck up people who cross those lines. Anyways, I really enjoyed the longer form content and hope we get to see more tapes in the future. I want my soul stirred and the lines between reality and fantasy blurred. But now, it's time I finally bring you into what you have been patiently waiting for. That special surprise that actually did blow my mind. I hinted at it last video, but now it's real. And that's almost as exciting as when I did that Family Guy reference. Cutaway gag. Almost a year ago, the game designer who made the horror game Faith reached out to Molly on Twitter and asked her if they could collaborate on making a game inspired by her videos. And they not only got her involved, but also content creator Jesse Cox and one of my favorite horror artists, the creator of Siren Head and Nerpo, Trevor Henderson. The resulting game was recently finished and released, and Molly even made a cool and totally normal announcement video. <sighs> They took one of the coolest aesthetic ideas for a creepy game with a pre-built-in slasher and actually capitalized on it. Now, before you get too excited, it's a demo, and honestly, in my opinion, it works a little bit better in theory than in practice. I played through it already, found every ending in about six minutes. So I have invited my resident weirdcore expert and cunning beautiful wife to join me for a second playthrough. I married, I married the best person in the world. And I love him. I love you. Okay. So to show you how much I love you, I'm going to traumatize you. So baby, oh. um, <laughs> here's what's going to happen. Okay. I've already played this once before. It's really short. I'm going to be running it and you are going to be uh, telling me what to do. Basically. This okay. is already, I, the audio is, cool. it feels like nails on a chalkboard, but on the skin of my brain. Oh, this is a demo. Is there more? There's hopefully going to be more, yes. So the de Ooh, that's why it's so short, is it's just a demo. I want more. Let me eat it. A fork and knife. Five course meal. Pass the gums. Pass it eat. I want more. Already. Just staring at this so purple, are we, purple man. So are we gonna quit? My brother went missing a few days ago. I hope whoever lives here can help me find him. Continue. Uh, uh, oh, here. Somebody come comes now. Somebody comes now. Continue. The continue button. <laughs> Who are you? Jesus Christ, uh, that's so loud. It, it, she looks fantastic. Can um, I use not your like she's going to hide under my bed and then nibble on my ankles. He peaked <laughs> like this audio when he came out of his mother's fetus. <laughs> What's more spooky is the fact that that kitchen is, is built like a triangle. Those cabinets don't, don't fit to the ceiling. It makes me uncomfortable. Like, the architecture of this house is making me uncomfortable, but continue. Meet yourself by home. Thank you. I don't want to be here. Why is the door locked? I want to leave. Oh, no, I, uh, I've learned too much from horror videos and the fact that you're my husband to, to go into the basement. I'll 
I'll go in your base. Okay, so either the way I see it, we either continue or we continue. We either continue or we quit. Do it, coward. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, darling, darling. We are we are the weird core couple. We can we can escape the clutches of Molly Moon. We'll eat her back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I won't torture you. That would have been yet. funny though. Don't worry. I'll call the sheriff. The fuck you mean yet? <laughs> you ready to go forward? Why is she calling the sheriff though? Yeah, she's she maybe it's those horrendous cowboy boots. I think we should quit again. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Why are they using a flat brush? That's a question. Like, I like flat brushes when it comes to sketching, but why for line art? Real question. We're using blood, babe. That's Trevor Henderson's uh, contribution to the game. Is is oh. this guy? I want to keep. No! I, I, I was oh. gonna. I was gonna quit again to save his poor little life, but here we go. <laughs> oh. Did you see the blood effects? That's almost <laughs> as bad as you do to say one. I don't think we did it wrong. I think you did it wrong. Leave. I'm the new cult leader. Uh, oh, no! Roar. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Personal space. Time to go. <laughs> Way too close. What? Pepper, Pepper spray! spray! Alright, time to go. Never let him know what you're thinking. See, she can smell our musty ass. She killed us again. Okay. What does that say? Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Closet. Go back. Hallway. Living. Nope. Go back. Fireplace. Oh, I thought that said friend palace. She's gonna smell us. Oh, do we get to see ourselves? Are we nasty looking? Oh, or the infinite void. You know, we cannot fix the infinite void. <laughs> Oh. Well done, babe. You escaped, <laughs> Molly Moon. <laughs> this is really cool, and I like the aesthetic of this a lot. I also really um, enjoyed the aesthetic and the art is super neat. Yes, I I hope that once this becomes, because it's, it's going to have to, and if it doesn't, I will riot and nobody can stop me. <laughs> Same here. We're, we're uh, literally raising an army by making this video. <laughs> ooh. I feel like the whole point of her TikToks and stuff is that it, they're surprising. You, you don't expect it. And I just didn't, here. I didn't see this as something surprising, you know? It was like, extremely oh, there's a Yeah, very. I, I, I guess I just wish there was more shock to it. Not just, oh, there's a cultist, cultist in the basement, we kill the pig. You know? I did like the interactive part, though. The whole, like, having to draw the sigil. Yeah, it was cool. Was really I, cool. I think that if the game put, if the full game puts more of that and also takes more of what makes her work singularly, like, unique, um, it'll be, it, it'll make us all feel fantastic. A lot of people came to this game. I kind of doubt that. I'm fantastic at comedy. You are so funny, babe. You're the funniest <laughs> human being on planet Earth. Thank you so much for joining me and making my video Thank 10 you. times better. Of course. Yeah. Are you sure you, you want to quit? quit? Are you sure you want to quit? <laughs> no, I'm not. Actually, I want to play the game again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I believe the game has a lot of potential, but in its current state, it's fairly bare bones and feels a little rushed. The art, though, is fantastic. The atmosphere in the beginning is impeccable. And it's a free demo, so I have a lot of hope and enthusiasm. All of that being said, I really, really enjoyed playing it, and I think that you will too. So if you have 15 minutes, you should uh, download it for free. Link in the description. As I've engaged with more of Molly Moon's work, the novelty has worn off and deeper understanding has taken its place. I look forward to whatever art this creator has to offer next, and I thank you, dear viewer, for joining me on the search for meaning in a world that deceptively seems void of it. Each like on this video equals one
So be sure to absolutely obliterate that like button. You see that like button down there? Don't pass. Smash. Also, I'm going to be playing at an indie folk and punk show in Toccoa, Georgia this April, and you can get tickets in my link tree down in the description. Even if you don't like music, I'd love to meet you, and I'm begging, because the more people who show up, the more likely it is I'll be invited back next year. Thanks for watching. And how long will it take before you start to hate yourself and go straight into the arms of someone else? And I'll just wait till those arms belong to me and i'm not saying that you love me i'm not saying anything